Bill with Court Sense Basketball. Uh, my program started roughly 25 years ago with one player. I consider myself a player development guy. I never really got into coaching uh, basketball from a team perspective, but really trying to help individuals uh, improve their basketball IQ and skill level to play at the college level. My program is about teaching the, the uh, nuances of the game like footwork and angles and how to create optimum space with and without the ball so they can attract smart college coaches. While the ball's in the air, cross, cross, tap. Ready? One, two, tap. Now I'm going to trap it again. Trap it. Now, quick through my legs, give it back. Now it's in this hand. Double cross, tap. Trap. Change direction. Wait. Ah. Trap. Ah. Stay nice and low. Uh, you know, today we are here at Lower Marion High School, um, you know, the, the home of Kobe Bryant. I have a few guys that have never worked out with me before and a couple that have been working out with me for years. I mean, I've been working out with him since early high school. Um, I just graduated from St. Joe's looking to play overseas. So just from that alone, you know, he works with every different kind of level. And I'm a big. And I know I need to work on my handles for the overseas game. So I hadn't worked with him for a couple of years. I knew I hit my man up right away. He got back to me right away. And I mean, he's teaching me stuff I totally forgot from 10 years ago. And he's helping me, you know, prep myself for a pro game right now. Run him into the screen. Now stay here for a second. Why would, if I'm running into a screen, why would you guys all be this wide? Look at the gap between the screen and where you guys ran for a curl. Not tight enough. Not only that. <clears throat> You even know it's there, right? Now guard me. Guard me tight. Come on, come on. Come on, where are you at now? What did I do? Slow it down. Speed it up. I thought it was a good workout, it gave us a lot, like good moves, cutting, moving without the ball to create space and get open. It's going to be really useful for our high school games. Yeah, a lot of, uh, a lot of mental stuff like cutting, moving without the ball, a lot of things to think about when we're playing and we don't have the ball on the court. Good workout. Mm -hmm. uh, it was definitely a great workout. It's something different. You don't get stuff like this in normal workouts where you can practice like moving off the ball, which is a lot of game time. Um, drills that you use that most times people don't practice. So if I'm coming up and there's a defender and I'm showing them my standing up like this and I make my move, you see how you can react as a defender? So I want to put myself in position where I can go right and change direction. So as you approach this time, I want you to, as you get a handshake away, break down your footwork so you're here and then get explosive going through his chest. Notice how I'm getting my shoulder to the hip of the defender. I'm stepping with my right foot, left shoulder. Because I want to open this defender's legs here, like a door. Open that door so it swings here. If I give them an opportunity to do this, I lose. Justin McFadden, who's a Lower Marion grad, um, he, played, he, he started with me when he was 12 years old. I worked him out all through. Uh, middle school and high school, and he went on to get a, uh, a full scholarship. Worked out Rondé Jefferson and uh, his, his uh, brother Raleer, who was at uh, Temple. Uh, Rondé, as you know, plays uh, for the Brooklyn Nets. Uh, helped him out with some ball handling. Uh, when Jalen Brunson was a young uh, player at 10, 11 years old, he worked out with me. And, you know, there's a, a list over the last 20, 25 years of players who've played overseas, definitely played at the college level. Um, and again, that's, that's what my program's about. The reason why I space these the way they are, I want you to work extremely hard to not know what's gonna happen next, but to make sure you beat the first guy. So this isn't gonna beat the first guy right here. He's gonna just stay right with me. I need to explode. So I'm right here, I'm right here. Ah, where is he gonna be? Where did I leave him? A lot of space, right? Now I gotta make the next guy react. So that's where you gotta have good balance. 
right? Good balance. I'm here. What can I do in this position? I can pull up, go right, or I can go left. Always put yourself in position to be able to do those things. Doug Young from Lower Marion, Lower Marion Basketball. And we are always excited to have Irv McGill in our gym. Anytime that he can be here and drop nuggets on our players, uh, it's, it's, it's really a privilege and an honor for us. We've been working with Irv now for the last decade. Um, he's been working with individual players. He's come in, he's worked with multiple players, uh, worked with our entire team uh, at various times. And what I think separates Irv from, from, from really the rest of trainers that we've brought in to work with our guys is he, has a, he, he brings a deeper understanding of the game. It, it, it takes the game to a different level. So we've had coaches come in, talk about how to handle the basketball. We've had coaches come in, work on shooting. But what Irv does is he brings it all together uh, to make it actually playable in game situations. Uh, so creating space, uh, the, the, the footwork of the game, being able to understand angles, being able to understand what your defender is going to be doing as an offensive player. Um, all those things are, are kind of a higher level, I almost call it like a university level understanding of the game. And for high school kids, that's incredibly important. They're so apt to just come in the gym and bounce the basketball and throw the ball up at the rim. But with Irv, we know that when he comes into the gym and works with our guys, they're, they're, they're almost getting basketball 101. They're, they're getting the foundation of the game. And that for us is huge in terms of developing our players.